Hello everybody, this is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com and today I have a special tip for you guys. I'm going to reveal how you can free up 4 gigabytes of storage on your Microsoft Surface RT tablet. Now let me first remind you that you will need a thumb drive in order to do this. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your desktop you're going to swipe in, you can uh, put in your thumb drive, as you can see that I'm doing there. You're going to swipe from left to right, and here you'll see how much storage I currently have on my Surface RT. And I'm doing everything via touch, so I can show that you can use the Surface RT as a tablet, and you don't specifically need the attached keyboard. So swap, uh, swipe from left to right, go to settings from your desktop, and you're going to go to the control panel. There you go. I'm pointing to it. Now go to it. Hurry up. There we go. Go to system and security. And then you're going to go to file, file history. In the bottom left hand corner you will see recovery so you're going to click on that as well so what you're going to do is you're going to create a backup storage device with your thumb drive your backup utility will go into your thumb drive and you can free up four gigabytes of storage that is already in your that is being used by this recovery follow all the instructions that I'm currently telling you it's a pretty simple easy process just go through all the instructions now what I will say is um, initially you might be wondering okay what if I lose my thumb drive all I can say is once this process is done and you have because right now it's going to reformat that thumb drive and you will not be able to use it for anything else. So if you have a minimum of a four gigabyte thumb drive stick uh, or thumb stick, if you have one laying around at Radio Shock, I bought one for a little over $8. It was an eight gigabyte version. Once you do that, make sure you back everything up. And while the whole process is being processed I wanted to show you guys a YouTube application that I found it's called PrimeTube it'll show you your uploads your subscriptions trends it will play videos if they are in high quality it will play them in HD or in high quality the only thing it will not show is your channel so here you're seeing my subscriptions. It will not go to anyone's channel. That's the one thing I don't like about it. So here are my uploads. It utilizes the nice tile interface from Windows 8. And here is my most popular video, which I am hoping this specific video overtakes. And for some odd reason, it will not play in HD even though this goes up to 720p, this specific video. And of course, like every application, if you swipe from left to right, you get the charms, you hit options, and you have your options menu for that specific application that you are currently on. In case you didn't know that. And you have the option to share the video that you're currently watching. And there you will maximize and minimize pause replay etc everything that you would normally do on a youtube application is here the one thing i don't like is that it does not show how many subscribers or well it does say how many subscribers you currently have but it will not let you know how many channel views or video views you currently have and here's one of my latest videos 
which you'll recognize the little cutesy Windows 8 Surface-esque color scheme of the opening with the little bubbles and stuff. So I'm utilizing the Surface RT multi-touch or multi, um, multi-tasking capabilities to check out the progress. So right now it's uh, installing everything into my thumbstick. The whole process took about 15 minutes, maybe. Obviously, I cut the video down to make things a little more presentable. And while we're waiting, let me show another app. Here is, don't know if it's an official Facebook app, but it's called Facebook Touch. It somewhat uh, feels kind of like what you would find on a an official Facebook application on Android or Apple on the top you'll see your menu system and as you can see you, you'll see your entire feed there goes my boy Nelson Rodriguez and his daughter it's her birthday today happy birthday so I liked this specific image now if you click on someone's video as you can see here it gives me the option to download or to open it will take me away from the application and send me into Internet Explorer. I don't really like that. It's not a huge inconvenience, but I would have preferred to watch the video in app. I don't play too many games on my Surface RT, but tap to, ooh, who the hell is that guy? Tap tiles, I never heard of it. I found it by accident. And I have to say it's quite addicting. I'm going to show you right now the great thing I love about Windows 8 RT, specifically the Surface RT, uh, is the integration with Xbox Live. And let me set the record straight. There are plenty of Windows 8 tablets out there. The Surface is not the only Windows 8 tablet, but combined with the premium build quality and everything else, I just prefer it over the competition. Tap Tiles is a unique puzzle game that is in 3D. You can use the screen to rotate and match specific icons. If you try to match an icon that is in the center like I was doing just now, it will be blocked. You will be unable to make that move. Everything has to be on the edge, as you can see right there. The beauty of this game is that I get achievements so you can't complain about that you have a free game with achievements and if you saw during the video while I was scrolling at the very far right you saw a promotion for Bing this is Microsoft if you're I've been an, uh, an Xbox Live subscriber for 10 years and the last five years we've seen advertisements on Xbox Live so I'm used to that. All right, we're nearly done. And what this is going to do once again, it's going to free up four gigabytes of space on your Surface RT. So if you were to do this straight out of the box, let's say you have about 18 gigabytes left. I forgot exactly how much you have uh, when you bring it home. We have a Scooby-Doo app, and we have myself, thumbs up. Uh, this specific app, you can watch a crap load of Scooby-Doo episodes. So if you were to bring the Surface home straight from the store, you have about 18, maybe 17 gigabytes left. You do this, and you'll have possibly 20 to 21 gigabytes available on a 32 gigabyte Surface RT. We're done. Check that out. We're done. On the bottom you see backup on another computer or SD card. As a matter of fact, and SD card. I recommend that you do both. I highly recommend that you do both. Those are important files that you're transferring to a thumbstick. And you're going to see 
And it gives you the option to delete that partition, the recovery partition. Delete it because you have it on your thumb drive. Put it on an SD card if you have it on the surface and put it on another computer. You do not want to get lost because if you have something were to go wrong with your Surface RT and you needed to do a recovery, this is where th these specific files are where you would go to to get it done. And I'm going to show you how much space I actually got now. There you go. So I hope this helps you out. Remember, backup, backup, backup. Once again, I am JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com. I will talk to you guys next time I create a video, obviously. <laughs> Take care, everyone.